hey guys what's up welcome welcome to yet another video and it's been a minute i am so sorry for that but we are back and we're going to be reviewing um more shows um, i'm not yet sure what my scheduling will be i first need to settle down with consistency before i start promising you guys something that i probably will not deliver <laughs> but anyways welcome welcome to all my new subscribers welcome to the family here i usually do my makeup and review shows depend the doing the makeup actually depends sometimes i do it sometimes i don't it's been a minute since i did it because i came to realize i am not a good at multitasking i will do my makeup forget to talk or i will talk too much and forget to do my makeup so yeah anyways uh, rambling aside um we're going to be reviewing the show called boo bitch so if you're those people who love warm you know high school shows about love and just high school and everything high school though us africans cannot relate to most of those things because as most of us go to boarding schools and all we do is like try to survive so um we don't relate but if you're those people who really like like cute shows this one is for you and it's called boo bitch i don't know if i said that but it's boo bitch it came out um this year around like either this month or last month so i want to read like a short okay what it's basically about um she's the smart social misfit with high school regrets he's the chill crush attached to a mean girl can these two give each other life after death so this show is it's, it's actually a very short show it has like eight episodes and each episode is like 22 to 25 minutes so it's a very short watch if you're somebody who doesn't like watching really long series this one is definitely for you and if you like like cute stuff high school stuff high school boy crushes and everything like that this one is for you disclaimer if you've not watched this show make sure to watch it because i will spoil for you the bias and all, like i will spoil it me i will tell you the nitty gritty everything so if you've not watched it definitely watch it first then come back for this review so we meet two high school best friends who actually realize like their high school life is all i mean their high school time is almost over and they've not actually lived their life they're just like misfits they don't fit in they're just always together and their name is erica vu and Gia. so on realizing this they're like mm -mm months away we can't live like this we have to we have to use the remaining months of our high school life living life you know because high school um involves parties boyfriends and like just living the ultimate life but they have not experienced none of that they are misfits they don't fit in and they kind of get bullied so they decide to attend a party that is being hosted by jake w there are three jakes it's jake w jake c and i don't remember the other jake is called jake what i really think it's jake b but i'm not sure my memory does not remember because he was just like not really that much in involved anyway so they decide to go to the party and when erica like confronts her parents they're like yeah go ahead go ahead let me tell you i don't relate at all my parents are very strict in high school <laughs> So I, I don't relate to the way their parents are like, oh my god, go, go, like, go drink or go have fun and all that. Like even just in case you need us, just call us. And I was like, huh? Okay, girl, good for you. So when they attend this party, they actually realize it's a struggle to fit in. And the older you go, the harder it is to make friends. I don't know why. Like even for me, like my friends from high school and campus hours, I still have to date. Like I have not made any new friends. <laughs> anyways moving on they struggle to fit in in that party and erica goes on on a diss fest like she goes dissing each and every one of the people there and later on we came to realize that somebody actually recorded her dissing these people and it's actually going to affect her a lot so um when they're called into the house to go and like have fun um erica actually goes and participates in the beer pong and actually she wins and this ends up helping her gain more attention and Gia actually does go dance with Jake W and um, asks her to, asks him to prom and like have a really good time so they like get like super wasted because they agreed like they're gonna say yes to everything so they like get super wasted on their way home um, <clears throat> while they are talking about like living life and all that and going to prom um, a truck actually comes in their way and when they wake up the next morning you know all hungover and would be like what the hell you know those times like what the hell happened last night i hope to could you um 
Erica and Gia actually trace back their steps because Erica realizes that she's missing her necklace so they trace back their steps back to the forest and realize that one of them is actually dead which happens to be Erica so she's like really frustrated because she's like what the hell am I a ghost like how am I still here and I'm actually there dead because like she was dead and there was a moose on top of her so she Okay, so they actually try to process this whole thing when they go home, they do their research about ghosts, watch ghost movies and everything. And actually what I forgot to mention in the previous episode, Erica and Jixi, who actually is her crush, they do end up talking and have an almost kiss that does, doesn't actually happen. And actually Jixi ended up breaking up with this mean girl called Riley. And yeah, he's actually serious this time about breaking up because I broke up like that six times. <laughs> Those, that's that's popular like we keep bringing up and getting back together i cannot relate moving on so jixi calls her and asks her if she'd like to attend a party that he's hosting at his house like a hangover party and she's like yeah cool cool so um in the process um she's trying to figure out this whole ghost things like how to go about it while jixi is at his house waiting for Erica because he feels like they have this vibe they have this vibe going on so he waits for her and actually ends up feeling kind of depressed because Erica doesn't show up and Erica is actually in the process of understanding her and Gia are actually in the process of understanding like how she's a ghost and what she needs to do to be able to you know cross over so she meets this group of weird kids called the afterlifers let me tell you they were weird and this show has a lot of cringe moments it was cringy oh my god i was like no no it's like the skill is second hand embarrassment like you're like what are you doing it means they meet this group of friends uh weird friends called the afterlifers and they tell them that for a ghost to cross over and if if a ghost is still here it means that they have unfinished business so Erica believes her unfinished business is actually to make out with Jixi. So um, at this point it's like midnight, they were invited to the party at like 9pm, it's midnight. So she goes over to Jixi's house and actually sees Jixi making out with Riley, the ex-girlfriend. So while Jixi was depressed because um, Erica wasn't showing up, uh, Riley came being all desperate and throwing herself at him and they actually ended up making out. So um, Erica actually becomes really stressed but actually Gia talks to her and tells her like oh my god you know Riley's a snake she's like very manipulative obviously she's manipulating Jixi da, 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 da. so in the next episode Erica tries to write an apology to Jixi her crush because she wasn't able to make it to the party so um, as Erica is apologizing she actually does end up realizing that if the body does decompose um, she will end up being stuck in the world forever as a wandering ghost trying to you know scare people who don't give a shit <laughs> so she actually kind of gets alarmed about that so um there is actually a proposal jake jake i think it's jake b i don't know what his his jake something is trying to make a proposal to his girl a proposal to his ex no to his girlfriend so um erica is also invited to this whole proposal dance thingy so she knows this is going to be her time to actually kiss jixi and she'll actually get to ascend you know fly away so uh <laughs> so she makes amends she says goodbye to her family she tries to make amends with everyone that she didn't have she didn't make amends with we meet this guy called um devin who actually um erica had a, a small altercation with him when they were younger and actually his name ended up being stinky so she was trying to make amends for that during the proposal dance um after the proposal dance um erica actually does get to kiss jixi but nothing happens she doesn't ascend and nothing like that happens so she's quite confused like what's going on and she actually ends up starting dating jixi she ends up starting to she ends up dating <laughs> she ends up dating jixi oh my goodness i have a little lunch so <laughs> so that's why my tongue is my body is complaining so it's not functioning properly moving on she ends up starting to date jixi while she tries to understand like what's going on so Erica actually um, discovers that her unfinished business is not actually to make out with JXC, but is actually proposal. I'm sorry, to proposal. It's actually, oh, it's actually to go 
to prom with Jake C. But initially, she did tell Jake C that she does not want to go to prom because prom is lame and all that. So actually, Jake C was into that he was like yeah there's no point of going to prom so she tries to convince Jixi they go to prom together but behind the box he was like no 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 you see prom is lame so we don't have to go so um to avoid her body from decomposing um Erica and Gia go to the convenience store to buy like a huge bag of ice because no huge packets of ice a lot of ice because um they have to ice the body to reduce the decomposing process and in the process, Jake W does see Jake, uh, J does see Erica buying a lot of ice, and she lies to the store attendant that they have a party. And Jake C Jake W does. Hey, this my Jake's are confusing me. <laughs> Jake W does end up um, spreading the news that Erica is holding a party, so they decide to hold a party because that's the cover story. Because why would you buy like a lot of ice? In this party, Erica just like. She becomes really popular and Gia is actually thrown into the shadows because it's their winter wonderland party but everyone is like it's Erica's party. So she's quite frustrated, she feels so bad so she goes to lock herself in her room because the party is in Gia's house. And there she ends up meeting Gavin and they have like a really hot makeup session. Gavin is one of the afterlifers, those weird friends of theirs who told them that Erica has unfinished business. Yeah, that's Gavin. So um, she ends up making out with Gavin and he ends up passing out. So downstairs, Erica is having a very good time with her boyfriend, Jixi. And this whole time, Riley is watching them. She's like, oh my god, you know, he's just pretending. Um, he's just he's just trying to make me jealous. I know this whole is all oh, this whole thing is an act, blah blah blah. But Jixi does not give her answers about her. So she ends up feeling frustrated when she hears Jixi asking um Erica to prom and that she wants to wear being night blue. So in this process, Erica does become famous because she confronts Riley and with this she becomes really really popular in school. So in the next episode, um, Erica is like trending on social media and she actually ends up getting a hate comment on her social media and this actually ends up making her so frustrated. So she's trying to find who the troll is, who left the negative comment on her social media. And she ends up ignoring Gia who's really confused about Gavin because they made out and then he's like not been, he's been MIA. So she's trying to talk to Erica, she's avoiding her and then Jixi is trying to like, wants, to, wants her to pay attention to him but she, she's busy trying to find the culprit and she believes the culprit is actually Devin because um, she believes De Devin is out to get her because of the nickname Stinky that he got and Riley does give, give her advice about you know confronting her enemies and being the queen bee and all that and um, she does end up harassing Devin <laughs> trying to tell her to delete the comment the hate comment got to her and let me tell you if, if you really do if you do want to be in the social media business trust me you're going to get a negative comment so you have to learn how to actually deal with that negative comment so I kind of understand her why she went so crazy in that aspect so eventually we do realize that Gia is the one who left the hate comment because she wanted Erica to like chill so because you know the popularity was getting into her and actually Erica does end up being a mean girl so she does end up becoming the mean girl and she's like she becomes a real well she, she was wow she was me was like mm, girl wait a minute hold the, how do you change so drastically but i believe popularity does can can get to someone so she eventually becomes a mean girl and starts hanging out with riley and her squad and she completely shuts out gia she doesn't even pay attention to her boyfriend jxi i'm like jesus christ this was your crush but i don't know it's it's the popularity so she actually becomes pretty close with Riley who was like her arch nemesis but now they're like besties and um doesn't pay attention to JXC. I've already said that like 50,000 times <laughs> anyways um Riley actually even ends up tagging along to their dates of which Erica does not pay attention to JXC at all for the 50th thousandth time I've said that <laughs> anyways moving on um Riley no not Riley Erica realizes that she actually does not want to cross over so she actually decides during a like a school parade for the prom preparations and everything she actually stands up and says that she actually 
proposes that prom is cancelled and this actually she gets a lot of like you know like Ooh, yeah cancel prom cancel prom so she feels like yes i am that girl <laughs> everything i say goes because that's that's how she believes she is so she ends up getting into a fight with Jia because Jia really wanted to go to prom and they have a fight in the woods where the body is and we actually get to realize that Jia is the one who's actually dead and not Erica. That was a plot twist to me. I, d I didn't really think she was the one who's dead. Apparently Jia is the one who's dead and not Erica. So Jia did lie to Erica that she was the one who was underneath the moose but it was actually her because she was scared and she did not want, she did not know what to do and she felt like if Erica got to know the truth that it's Jia who's Ukochini she wouldn't live her life. Instead, she would be miserable and stuff like that. So she did it as a favor to Erica, but Erica did not see it. And I felt that was so selfish of her. The video, actually, remember when I said in the beginning, when Erica was trying to, was trash talking and dissing the friends during a party because they weren't fitting in and somebody actually recorded it. So at this point, this video goes viral and actually she gets a lot of hate because of that video about her tr trash talking her boyfriend and her friends so um in the process riley and her group of friends actually decide to backstab her and actually start the whole not to cancel prom tweet yeah it was a tweet it went viral and they actually decided to backstab her and Erica realizing this and realizing that G is a ghost, they were like she she approached Gia to help her actually remove that video from electronics because she has like those powers, and Gia feels so betrayed because instead of worrying about her best friend and that she's about to disappear, she's just worrying about herself. So uh, Jixi actually ends up breaking up with Erica because he realizes that he is actually attracted to drama and he doesn't want to live like that anymore. And actually Erica does have a lot of drama revolves around her so he realized he, realized he couldn't do that anymore so he broke up with Erica. And Gia also broke up with Gavin because she knew her time is limited and she was ab uh, actually about to ascend and disappear. At this point, Erica does realize that she has actually changed and not for the best, for the worst, and she feels really, really sad about it and realizes that her best friend is about to disappear and decide, decides to do one good thing for her, which was prom. Her unfinished business was actually prom, so Erica does go to prom. Aki, I just realized this review is going to be long. <laughs> Anyways, um... Erica does decide to go to prom and she did it for Gia despite knowing like a lot of people don't really like her in school and her dress was really gorgeous actually and she went to prom and when they were announcing prom king and prom queen Riley actually won prom queen because she's like this cool queen bee and stuff like that so Erica does go on stage and she actually tells people that her best friend had died and how amazing she was because they weren't quite popular so people didn't even know that she died or actually even who she was and um she did propose um that they make erica sorry they make Gia prom queen despite her being dead and um people actually did agree and really took the crown on behalf of the dead prom queen and yeah with that Gia did actually get to ascend and um people forgave erica for like how she was like mean and everything like that and actually she did get her happy ending she got back together with jxc i think and yeah it was mushy it was less oh my god so if you like such type of shows that is definitely a show for you to check out um if i was to rate it i would rate it probably a five to a 6.5 it was kind of cliche <laughs> it was your typical high school cliche shows and um the twist the twist was quite surprising maybe i did not see it at all i did not see it at all i didn't see it coming but anyways yeah that is about it for the review i hope you liked it and i'll see you guys in my next video bye